the Liberty Wrestling Team are back on the mats for the upcoming 2016-2017 season. With a new look team that features a strong recruiting class and key returning veterans, the Flames are ready to start the season strong. We're excited about this coming season. One of the reasons why we're excited is because of the incoming class that we have. Um, we've got a lot of solid kids, um, kids that I think are going to bring some depth to us. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited, I'm excited about uh, also uh, the attitude of the returners coming in. I was a little concerned about it at the end of the last year, but the, uh, but the evidence seems to point to the fact that they're, they're on board, they're buying in, and they don't want to come home after a national tournament like we did last year. I think the look and the dynamic has always been the same, and that's that we're going to be a championship team. Um, I think that's an expectation that we strive for every season. I think that the returners do a good job of keeping that mindset going, that we're not in here just training to be better wrestlers, we're training in here to be champions. And I think the recruits understand that and they've adopted that same mindset. Uh, everybody has uh, bonded really well, especially after our 24-hour workout, which was really exciting to see. Uh, I think we've got a good cohesive team. This year especially has been kind of unique in that sense because the new guys have really just been inculcated into the team very well. Um, you know, there hasn't, it's been very seamless. Everybody is really getting along with each other and working well as teammates. And has so far been very diligent in and out of the room. So we're, we're bonding and, and we're starting to, um, we're starting to get the vision of what we want to accomplish this year. And so I'm anticipating some good things. I, we've got a competitive schedule. Uh, as you know, we're hosting the national uh, dual meet championships here in January. So. Uh, we want to make sure we have a, a good showing for our home crowd. The Flames wrestling program has been a dominant force since joining the National Collegiate Wrestling Association. Part of that success is due to the program instilling a winning tradition on its athletes while building a community amongst its wrestlers. But another part of that is due to the team's motto that the wrestlers take to heart. Coach Castro almost always says, uh, another day to excel. And I think that's something that's so great to hear at the beginning of every practice. Um, you know, even though, you know, when you're in the depths of the season and you're just like, uh, you know, you're grinding it out, you're sucked out and you're really tired, you don't, you don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear, you know, another day to excel, another day to work hard. But I think that that really helps everybody in the end. That really puts in mind our goal, which is to become better wrestlers, to become excellent wrestlers, to be good representatives of Christ by doing everything with excellence. And it's, it is the team mantra and it definitely inspires, inspires many to push themselves throughout the long season. Every day is, a, every day is an opportunity, and you know, we come into that op a day uh, with an attitude, and we're in control of that attitude. Um, and so you know, our motto, if you will, is to make that an excellent day. Um, it's like a portrait. You, know, you, you, you paint that day, and it's an expression of who you are. Um, and so when we think about excellence, uh, we feel like, uh, you know, it's a scriptural term, you know, that, that, that Paul was a man of an excellent spirit. And so our objective is to, to be outstanding, to, to stand out, and not just in terms of our win and loss, but also in terms of our character too. I've been here four years, I'm a senior. The overall consensus is that you're never the same person you leave as when you, when you start. I think four years is a long time under the wing of Coach Castro and Coach Hackman and now with Coach Chris coming in. I think that those three guys have, have just worked tirelessly to, to really build us up, both as, as athletes and wrestlers, but also as men and, and Christians. And I think they just have really taken us under their win. And, and for me, for the last four years, that I've uh, been very thankful. Coach Castro really does a good job of inspiring uh, uh, the, a, a champion's heart in, in his wrestlers. And Liberty Wrestling has been very historically very successful. And I think that's really uh, a testament to the spirit of the team. You know, over the course of uh, five years, this is our sixth year coming into the organization, uh, yet we have proven ourselves to be able to maintain, uh, you know, a, a dominant program. Um, you know, winning the uh, national dual championships two out of those five years uh, and winning the grand national championships one year, um, I think is, you know, is pretty impressive in terms of uh, bouncing back from what was a pretty traumatic experience for our program. So yeah, I, I think um, you know, historically we've set ourselves up with a pretty high standard and now 
you know, we want to be able to build upon that and to main, not only maintain it, but to build upon that. After training for the first couple of months of the fall semester, the wrestlers are ready to begin the year and the team is ranked once again in the top five in the nation. And as always, they have high aspirations of improving on their ranking to become number one in the nation once again. The team expectations are obviously to be a national champion. And I think the expectation now is just to go out there and perform how we're expected to perform and above what we're expected to perform. Because right now we're ranked fourth and I think that's low. I think they're really not paying too much respect to our returners and I think they're completely uh, overlooking our newcomers. So I think that the expectation is obviously to be a national championship team. I'm looking forward to, to, to postseason duels and individuals. I think we have a really good shot this year at taking the title again. Uh, if, if we keep working and the team cohesiveness stays the way it is, uh, I know Coach Castro will be able to lead the team to another victory. I always have high expectations um, and I, there's nothing to, to, to prohibit that same expectation uh, this year. But there's a lot of unknowns. You know, we, we still have to get guys at the right weight classes. We have to have uh, guys healthy. The peripheral things that occur that could, that could derail, uh, you know, that objective. You know, the, the effect of that is uh, transferable. You know, it's because we are, it's like a chain. You know, when, you know, when one link is, is weak, it affects, it affects the whole chain. Uh, so a lot of things have to come together, you know, and, and I, I'm very optimistic. I think we can get together. I think we can be competitive in terms of actually um, competing for a national title. But again, things have to come together and um, we have to peak at the right time.